Comedians, the podcast where I chat to another comedian about jokes they can't get to work. As always, I am joined in the podcast studio by the one and only Mr. Danny Ward. Hello, Mark. What you'll notice there is, is that um, the what? theme music sort of came and went for a second, and yeah, that's because happened? I had to move my microphone hand away <laughs> to my Apple Watch to start the recording for the iPhone video. Oh, yeah. so, so no Oof, one... Blimey. So the iPhone came on cut in halfway through the intro. So we haven't got the first few seconds on the... I could deal with that. Yeah. Okay. It's a new year, Danny. I'm feeling in good spirits. Happy New Year, everybody, to the Jokes community. Happy New Year, Danny. Yeah. Happy New Year to you as well, Mark. Uh, happy New Year to the Jokes community and also. it is what? It's uh, eight minutes past one as we're filming this. Correct. Well, uh, recording this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that gives us, what, a, a 10 hours and 58 minutes left? Left of uh, 2022, and let's face it, we uh, other than your fantastic tour, uh, yes, the comedic you. juggernaut, it's been a bit of a shit year. Um, uh, yes, I mean, you know what I'm do, talking do, about. I'm talking about the war oh. in Ukraine. I'm talking about the cost of living crisis. I'm talking about the energy crisis. I'm talking oh. about the fact they cancelled neighbours. They but, but Amazon, Amazon Prime. Picked it up again. Picked it back up again. So, so that's it's not way. all bad. It's not all bad. <laughs> There's some light at the end of the tunnel. Talking about Prime, what do you think about this um, uh, Prime water that's uh, oh, got yeah. everyone, got their knickers in a twist about? What is it, water? It is water, yeah. It's an energy drink. It's is it? some sort of energy drink. That oh. That is not me. That That's on aeroplane mode. Um, so is mine on aeroplane mode, actually. Jeez. I mean, it could be the dehumidifier, but it seems unlikely. It's not plugged in. No. <laughs> 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 and also unlikely that it's going to uh, have that kind of effect. That's gone. That's gone. It's I, gone. Now. Again, it's New Year. I could deal with that. Just, just let it wash over I, us. I can deal with it. Just let it wash Fresh. over I'm, us. I'm, I'm looking forward to the this new year. This is the new stratagem of 30 minute shows without editing, isn't it? Yes. So we've just got to roll with Ro- it. Man. Rolling with it. Rolling with it. Nice you know, we've and been busy cruising. and it's, 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 you know, an hour and 20 How minute record. How was your record. Christmas? Christmas was lovely, actually. Yeah, thanks. Um, with the do family. Do you uh, question, uh, at Christmas, do you get a lot of people when you're pulling crackers go, oh, you'll get this one, Mark? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's always, but I don't want to read them. I don't like, they're, they're bad, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, more more often than not. Yeah. They, well, yeah. I, did, I didn't, do you, do Christmas, I don't know if everyone does. Do you do Christmas crackers still? We do do Christmas crackers. I wrote a Christmas cracker joke once oh, yeah. for uh, a charity thing. What was it? I'll throw that in. Um, the charity. Yeah. Oh, no, no. What was the joke? Uh, the joke was, it's a while ago. Don't give two shits about the charity, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the joke was, um, I had a nightmare the other day that I was trapped in a snow globe. Wasn't scared, just a bit shaken up. Banging. Good joke, that. Great right? joke. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. So, so yeah, so new shows, new year, new shows. Um, uh, oh, uh, yeah. how was my Christmas? Thanks, mate. How was your Christmas, Daddy? Well, I, I tell you what, this is absolutely great. This, <laughs> and I'm I'm sorry that Daisy Earl got ill, but what? Well, no, nothing. Don't, don't panic. Nothing too bad, but she wasn't able to make a gig uh, oh. down in the West Country where I was already there for Christmas. Oh, yes. So um, gig comes up last minute. Brilliant. I can do it. Yes. That makes the entire trip a tax deductible business expense. Yeah, all the Christmas so, presents. All, all the presents, all the, all the fuel, all the champagne, all now written off against Perfect. that gig. Oh, thank God for Daisy Earl. And then I went to um, um, Derby to do a gig. Yeah. Uh, so put to bed the demons of the last time I was in Derby. Which have we discussed the... What, when I played to absolute silence for 25 minutes? <laughs> and then there was a blackout. <laughs> <laughs> don't we, then, I don't know if we've even have we discussed this. I can't. I can't remember now. We did it. We did it for the documentary. <laughs> so we have this. So, oh yeah. So they. they uh, the, the, it was. It was. It was a. The gig. Basically, what happened is, is before I came on, the decision was made to fire out a load of dry ice on. And you know, I like dry ice. Mark. You love a bit. Of dry I bought ice. a dry ice machine just before Christmas. Yes, you did. Which also is tax deductible, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And that's legit. It's been yeah, on BT that, Sport. BT Sport. And um, they, they, they obviously, the thing I know about dry ice, having used to DJ, yeah. is that, you know, when you push the button, you think, oh, it's not coming out. So you put your finger on it longer and there's a slight delay. And then it just like basically <laughs> just, just keeps on spurting. You can't really That's stop okay, it. Though. Yeah. So when I walked out in Derby, didn't I, before? You, yeah. <laughs> no one could see you. I, I think it was you a bit like stars anyone. in their eyes. <laughs> well, I made that joke. No one laughed. But I think they expected <laughs> it to be you. you. Yeah, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I think that was expected to be you. When the, when the smoke cleared, well, it wasn't. I think yeah, it they confused co- everyone. <laughs> and then as I came off the stage, remember, it was 25 yeah, minutes yeah, of yeah, silence. Yeah. And as I came off the stage, there was a, the, the, the power went out. 
Yeah. And we were discussing ways in which we were going to do it. And I was going to illuminate you yes. by my torch. Yeah, you were. Which and does then, feature in your, your act. And just as we were about to push the button on that, yeah. uh, and then bing, it comes back on. Turns out it was, um, it was a, 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 a sort of a localised uh, power outage and nothing to do with uh, the electrics within the, uh, within the building. It's annoying because I'd uh, prepared all my dark material. There you go. Like so. Philip Pullman. Uh, didn't he write a book called His Dark Materials? Oh, okay, yes, along those lines. Yeah, I don't know. That's and so anyway, <laughs> I went to Derby to do a gig and uh, put that put that to Demon. bed now. Oh, yeah. mate. Oh, Good gig. It was awesome, mate. What, um, any any weird crowds in that Christmas period for you? Well, no, actually. No, no, I haven't I hadn't experienced anything like sort of... Uh, aggressive. Like, uh, aggressive or your, your no, Christmas I mean either, coke take or anything like that. Yeah. But something funny did happen. What I happened? I thought we could discuss this. Yeah, yeah, sure. What happened? Um, so... Was this in Derby? Yeah, this was in Derby. So it's a place called Willington, actually. Yeah, I've been uh, there. Yeah. It turns out I'd done it in 2018 because I checked mm. my... Uh, but oddly, got absolutely no memory of being in the building, oh. which is... Concerning for my it's too for, many gigs, for my down. memory, really. That's, That's the spirit, it. Mark. And um, during the interval, a member of the audience came up to the MC and said, "Oh, oh you know this, that this, guy? this never <laughs> this, this never ends well." <laughs> I got one for you, mate. Uh, <laughs> oh the, god! He comes up to the guy, the MC. It's either that, or it's like my mate celebrating. Can you do a shout out or work? Can like a con- can, yeah, can you take the piss out of him? It's like, what do you want me to do? Like, yeah. that's not my job. Yeah. No, it's really, really awkward when that yeah. happens. Yeah. But the best thing to do is just to go, yeah, mate, no worries. And then don't do it. And then at the end, just, oh, just go out the back door. Mate. I forgot, yeah. mate. I forgot. Or just don't see them again. So what did happen? So what happened is, is that um, someone came up, to, they were all, um, uh, I think, very regular crowd. I think there were a lot of people who knew each other in the crowd, sort of small area. And someone comes up to the MC and says, that guy you've been talking to on the front row, mm. there's a hell of a story about him. Who yeah. said this? There's someone oh, someone in knew the audience. Him. Yeah, knew him. Right. So there's a hell of a story about him. And then they sort of mentioned what the story was. And the MC was like, oh, okay. So before They mentioned mi- what the story was? To him, yes. Okay. So And then, I, I believe so. And then um, I'm waiting to go on. And uh, the MC says to the front, the lad on the front row, or oh, I've heard a story about you. How old is this lad? I'd say 19. Okay. And the lad on the front row goes, um, oh, I'll tell it on stage if you want. <laughs> no. And he marches. Instant no. And he just gets up. He gets up. You know, he had a couple of drinks. Basically, he gets up and just grabs the microphone <laughs> and starts oh, his story. No. Can I just say, in this posi- from my, my view on this right now is, it, 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 it can only be bad because if if if, it, if it's a terrible story, the energy in the room's gone. If it's a really good story, and everyone laughs, it makes it look like anyone could do this job. It's yeah, it's um, it's a potentially sticky wicket. <laughs> so so I'm just watching. So the guy just grabs his microphone and he starts off, and he's um, oh, well, um, I was out uh, drinking once. I'd had a heavy night of drinking and uh, like, you know, the, the, the burger van across the road. Yes, I've got a burger from there and I'm, and I'm walking past, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the carpet shop, the closed down carpet shop that's around the corner. And he goes, and uh, there, was a, there was a homeless woman there. And uh, I started uh, talking to the homeless woman and um, uh, I swapped a cheeseburger for a blowjob. <laughs> like that. And, what? Yeah. yeah. And he says, he says this. <laughs> and, I, like, and I mean, the room is, it's, it, it must be the average age is, uh, you know, 55, 60. In yeah. that room. He's got friends in the room. I, he's got a family friend in the room, like his mum, I think. And the, sort of, the whole place sort of erupted in incredul- incredulity. You're going to have to, hang on, let me just Google that. <laughs> incredulity. What does that mean? Uh, Alexa, what does incredulity mean? I have a couple definitions for the noun. Incredibility, one. The quality of being incredible. No. Incredibleness. Alexa, stop. It wasn't incredible. Incredulousness. Incredulity. The word means people sort of couldn't believe it had been said. So they were laughing now, a shock. Sort of, yeah. I mean, it was quite. They a, were laughing or going, oh. Listen, we've all we've all got the internet, so it's hard to be shocked nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, but, yeah. So I wasn't shocked, but I was quite startled by the admission in a room that generally sort of felt like uh, yeah. kind of a, a well-to-do kind of country pub. Was it? Like. Okay. And um, and then basically the MC, <laughs> God bless him, he just went, um, and here's your next act, Danny Ward, right? <laughs> and I and I just sort of okay, went, and um, <laughs> what an try. And I just sort of looked at this bloke on the front, and I just shook my head at him, and that just got this enormous laugh, really? right? And then I said, well, wow, I was going to yeah. ask what Willington was like, but I don't need to now, <laughs> yeah, do yeah. I? And, then, and, 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 so, and then I do uh, a thing about do you know my... what that is, Danny? You're, you're a goddamn pro. And then I do my thing about my DBS check, 
right? You know? Yes. And, and, okay, and then yeah, I said, yeah, oh, you yeah, got yeah, you DBS yeah, chat? Yeah, no, of course yeah, you're yeah. fucking not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And actually, any time during this set, I wanted to just get a laugh. I just stop, look at him and shake my head. And the whole place erupted. Oh, wow. So actually, so what, you're quite what glad that been, you got a blowjob for a burger. I'm fucking thrilled. <laughs> God. I'm thrilled. So what could oh. have been like, you know, hard, as we said, yes. You know, it actually turned into a really unique yeah, yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, and that's the beauty of the that life, is the experience of, of an act, to, to not let you start, be startled by that and just, wow. Mm, that is, is funny. That's, I've never, that's... I mean, that, I've been doing this 13 years now and that was kind of quite, that, that one will stick out in the mind. Yeah, <laughs> my goodness. Um, speaking of the Derby gig, I would like to stress, actually, it's the end of a leg. We, I mean, this year has been, mm. I'm so pleased with how the tour's gone. Like, I think at the beginning of the year it was just a handful of dates, wasn't it? And then we ended up doing about thirty shows. Oh, of course. Did we talk about the fact I couldn't make the last one? Yeah. Oh, yes. You didn't, you, Danny. Basically, I, I just like to say, Danny, I don't want to, I don't want to over no. egg this because <laughs> because I don't want anyone snapping you up and and poaching you. But you have done an absolute brilliant job supporting well, I me. Support Am I going to make you cry, else, Mark? I only, you know. Do I a think, tour again if it was mine. Yeah, I think you might. Um, but anyway, um, but just just because t- there's a lot of people who have done support who are listening will know, but a lot of people don't know. It's one of the hardest jobs because you're going on cold, like you said earlier. They're not expecting it to be you. And I say, apart from Derby, there was uh, a couple. There was a couple where they did just stare at me for 25 minutes, but only literally a couple. But all the others, all the others, every time ended with a round of applause on your last joke. Yeah, yeah, and that's they, a they great built, sign. They almost, apart from those who they almost all built, and what was interesting is that the, the ones that sort of started off high were actually, more often than not, the comedy clubs. More often yes. than not, not yeah, always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost as if, I don't know, there's something in the room. Well, that, with that, a comedy club, if you are someone who does go to a comedy club anyway and yeah. you know the comedy club, you're used to everyone that comes on being good. If you go to a theatre show, quite often you might be, especially with my crowd, because it, they're coming off social media and a lot of theatres have told me that... Um, a lot of the audience have never been no, to a never, comedy yeah, show before, absolutely. so so they don't they so that's much harder for you because they don't understand the process and, and perhaps but people from and they don't know that someone who they don't know can be funny. Do you, and also, is it possible? And I don't know if this is true or not that people came came off the mailing lists of the comedy clubs, so they would sort of some people were yeah, more yeah, yeah. naturally yes. attuned to what happens. Is mm. you know, that I think a lot of people genuinely, genuinely, when I came out and they went, "Welcome to the stage," and they expected to see "Welcome to the stage" to hear Mark Simmons, but they hear Danny Ward. It's a cognitive dissonance, and they literally take them a minute or two to yes. adjust to what the. Are yep. we in the right place? Yeah, yeah. But you do that. You, you come out, you tell them exactly what's yeah. going on. You, no, get, get, you, get, you get them settled. Um, and then you missed, you missed the last tour missed show. Missed the last one because the damn, real. the damn folk went, didn't it? And I thought what yeah, might be oh, funny yes. is I'll, um, I don't oh, know if yeah, I said yeah, it you yeah. or not, but here you can stick in that voice note. Yeah, yeah. This is this what is, I sounded like. Yeah, yeah. This is Danny sending his apologies for, for not being able to attend the last tour show of the, 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 the first leg. Hello, everyone. This is BT Sports' Danny Ward. Apologising, I'm not going to be able to make the comedic juggernaut that is the Mark Simmons Crip Off The Mark Tour. It's the last day in Brian tonight. We've done well over 20 and I'm absolutely gutted that I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. As you can tell, I've, I've lost my voice. Well, I've not lost it. It just sounds like an adolescent schoolboy's whilst it's breaking. But I'm sure the show's going to be fantastic. I'll keep this short and sweet because on the advice of Google, I've been told to rest it. But remember, I'll be back. So as you could tell, <laughs> uh, it wasn't, wasn't going to happen, was it? <laughs> I'd love to see you do a set with that voice. <laughs> that was happen. madness. Um, <laughs> also, huge thanks to Ben Robson and Dan Fardell, uh, local boys in uh, Brighton for stepping up and uh, taking the, the the support reins, ten minutes each did a good job. It's a good show. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't no. the same without no, you, no, Danny. Of course it wasn't. But also, Danny, I I I got you something as a little a little end of first leg tour present. Oh, it's not a, not a Christmas present. All right. I'm not expecting something back. It's a, a, a thank you for the first well, tour. There were four batteries in that Zoom recorder, Mark. That there are. That's true, actually. Um, so Christmas birthday bar mitzvah and all in one Easter. So, so um, show me eyes. <laughs> No, oh, I assume to. you've wrapped it. I've wrapped it, mate. Oh, you have wrapped it. Of course, I've wrapped it. I've got to add some spare. Is it Christmas. a Mark Simmons tour mug? It's a it's it's seventeen. <laughs> 
of the remaining Mark I, Simmons yeah. tour mugs. You might notice that we've got none on set. We haven't. We haven't. Christmas presents, mate. My hands are tied. Did you? Did, who did you give a Christmas? My mum got one. Did she? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm really glad about that. My dad got one. <laughs> uh, his 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 uh, cousin got one. Um, who else got one? I went to one auntie's and I got her some really nice chocolates, and she went, "Oh, I thought I was going to get a, a mug." mug. <laughs> yeah, so I had to go to the car and get one out of the boot. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, love. Don't worry, love. <laughs> got a job, love. <laughs> got, got, got a couple with me. <laughs> so so yeah, it's it's a present. Ah, oh, amazing. Thank you, Mark. That's very very kind. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. This. There you go. Pipes. So just sit for the camera, they can. Well, I wasn't expecting this. There we go. What so, the hell oh. is this? <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that he's face. The, he's got me the jacket. I've, I've got him got the me, jacket. He's got me the jacket. No. Show the audience the jacket. He's got me the jacket. And not only you have got one. I've got, one, both as well. got one as well. Yes. So tell... Oh, tell this is amazing. Um, <laughs> Tell everyone what the jacket is, because I don't even know if we've spoke about it too much on the. Because we might have spoke about Liverpool when we had someone cosplaying as us in the yeah, jackets. Yeah. So we went to uh, during the tour. We went to River He's Island. Got us the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> we went to River Island, and we just we saw these jackets, and we thought they were, looked like wrestling. I can't believe it. <laughs> we thought they were. Uh, we look, we look like a tag team, yeah. and, we, and we posted a photo, and the post and the photo online did did good numbers. I feel like a million bucks in this. <laughs> I, I, you do look like a million bucks. Hold on, I'm just gonna stand up and put it so on. So we wear them tonight to the gig. We're both gigging tonight in uh, London for New Year's Eve. <laughs> the I dare us to turn up like this. I'm getting there late, so you're gonna have to be there with it on. And then you walk in with it as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, so we posted the photo. Oh, please, can we wear these when we go to the gigs on the tour, mate? And we, yeah, of course. We've got to turn of up course. both in these. And we, <laughs> and we didn't, we didn't buy them because we thought no, we were tempted, but we thought this is madness to buy these ridiculous jackets. Um, and then we went when we were in Liverpool at Hot Water Comedy yeah. Club, front row. Yeah. So he, one of our he, there was someone wearing him on, it, didn't he? And, and, I, and, and you I, noticed, yeah. You, and I, I said, "Did you buy that before or afterwards?" Because uh, then I just had to make sure it was DBS checked because <laughs> we don't want stalkers. <laughs> but probably he, actually we don't mind. But he probably. bought it after we wore it. Question: Is yours the XL? No, no, both, yours, uh, both out. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, no, mine's per, L's, yeah, L's yeah, perfect yeah, yeah, for me. Yeah. I wasn't sure. No, yeah, no, look it's fine. That. It's good it's, as gold. I feel like the Steiner brothers. Yes, and actually with these on the headphones, they look a bit like the ear protectors that Rick Steiner wore. They're very niche reference, bit niche reference. But I, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> so yeah, so we got these, so we can arrive on tour in these, like like a proper tag I team. I feel like a million bucks. I here. know, and also I thought, what what we could wear them for the podcast? Yeah, it could be our podcast go to jackets. Yeah, and also maybe for anything on BT Sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We look American, don't we? Oh, well, will it get past clearance? What's it called? Clearance? Is that what they call uh, yeah. it? Yeah. Well, it's not. A, there's no brand on on site actually. Well. So that's good as gold. There we go. Look at that, mate. Yeah? Yeah, that's, 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 that's really great, that. That is good, well, solid. Think, is this good content? This is, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's a good jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. So, so you need to calm down now. Okay. We need to do a little bit of joke chat. Yeah. Um, I've uh, got a couple of things. Uh, I, 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 on my memory, I can't take you seriously now. I've that. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> On my memories, I, on Facebook, a, a joke popped up and I thought, oh, I'll tweet it. And it had a little bit of an interesting response, that joke writing oh, yeah. response. Oh, yeah, so, that's why we're here. Go on. <laughs> yeah, remember? Yeah. So, uh, so the joke is, if you want to watch Notting Hill, but you don't have Netflix, it's also on Google Maps. Yeah. Good. Which yeah. I, think's, I think is good. I don't believe I ever tried that. I think I thought of it, tweeted it. What you, what you, what I used to have a, a joke slightly, slightly similar to that. Great, what was it? It was, um, oh, goodness, what was it? It was... Um, you, you're making it up no, so no, that you no, can no. steal this joke. I said, what was that? Um, where's, the, where, where's that? Oh, get this bus. I, I, I get this bus that goes to that place. Uh, what's it called? Not in, not in. Service. Yeah. Is that the punchline? Yeah. That's a good joke. That's not the same joke. You it's expect someone to say, someone goes, not in hill. You go, yeah. not in service. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really good. Did you? What happened with that joke? Um, not really sure. You never used it. Well, I don't quite. What is the actual joke? As opposed, what? How would you do that on a on a on stage? You you do it like you just did. I think oh. you get someone to shout out Notting Hill. Yeah. Oh, not not not. Uh, yeah. uh, and then, how would you set it up though? Um, went to get a bus the other day. I had to go to West London. I had to go to West London. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there you go. Say West London. You set the joke up yes. even better. Um, to posh, I had to go to this. this my, I've got some rich friends, and I had to go to their place in West London. 
and uh, and then the, I didn't I wasn't sure what number the bus was, but sometimes it right like, it's written on there. And I saw the bus, it came up, and I was like, oh, this could be it. It's, it said not. Oh, what's that? Not not it. Not it. There's something to say. Hell. Yeah? And but you don't say it. You just go not in service. Yeah. Because I reckon you could do that and not. You you don't even have to have someone shout it. I don't think not in not in service because they're all thinking Notting Hill even if I don't shout yeah. it out. We could we could if that's that's a, that's probably only a London gig. If you want to take it, I out don't f- to the regions. Okay, Nottingham, Nottingham, Notting. Because not in service is a. Is but you wouldn't get a coach. In, you might get a coach. National Express coach is not in service. Nottingham, would not you, in service. Would it say that? Uh, could, uh, could you say I was meant to go to the Midlands and went? Yeah, works the same, just to the Midlands. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Very good. So, so with this joke, um, yeah. I don't believe I ever tried it, and I put it up on Instagram. I had a few comments that were interesting. Um, uh, one of them said, "Say Google Earth would make more sense." Is that is what is Google? What's the difference? The thing Google is about Earth and, Google Earth is, is that is, not that is Google Maps? Though, no, isn't it? no. Google what's Earth Google is Earth? that thing where like it starts off. You can you can go out and out and out and out till the Earth is just literally like a speck on your screen, and then you can zoom in and in and in and in and in until you're looking at like someone's back garden. Oh, it kind of never really took off in the sort of way you thought it might. I because I feel like people would know Google Maps more than I Google. think Google Maps, and is it the, is on Google Maps. So it's definitely on Google Maps. It's a nice input, but I, I, I'm not sure. Um, well, you know, worth a try. Um, and here's a one that multiple people suggested, but I disagree with. And we'll see what what you think. Okay, Doug. Um, so I said, if you want to watch Notting Hill, and but you don't have Netflix, and someone said, say see Notting Hill. Because if you want to see Notting Hill, I, I get that as far as the map is concerned, see makes more sense than watch because you don't, because on a map isn't happening live. So you're not watching. Are you what you, you are still what are you watching yeah, something that's this, not active? I don't want to pee off the fans, but you definitely wouldn't say see. But I feel like you would say see with a map if you want to see. Yeah, Notting but you would Hill. say, oh, I want to see nothing. Tell me how you'd say it if it's a see. But I, I want to argue why I wouldn't use C. Yeah, okay, go on. So um, if you want to see Notting Hill, so what they're doing there is they're set, if you want to see Notting Hill, yeah. but don't have Netflix, yeah. it's also on Google Maps. Yeah. Um, if you want to watch Notting Hill, but don't have Netflix, mm-hmm. it's on Google Maps. Now, my argument with why I wouldn't say C is because when you say, if you want to watch something, straight away you're thinking Netflix. Yes. So you're taking them one, that side of the joke, you're taking them down the path. If you say C, if you want to see Notting Hill, you could automatically jump to the actual place, Notting Hill. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel yeah, like... Yeah, 100%. But you are countering it with Netflix to go back the other way. But, so, but what you could also do is start with Netflix. So if you haven't got Netflix and you want to see Notting Hill, it's also on Google Maps. So that could work. Yeah. By doing it. And I've literally just thought of that with the Netflix thing. Because you, you're still, you, they still think in Netflix. Do, do you know what I think? But watch, you wouldn't watch mm. a map, would you? No. So, so, they, so I feel like I didn't like their idea, but I've, I've actually solved it. I think with the Netflix going first. There you go. Mm. What's your, what, what's your thought on that? My thought is that this is a really, really niche podcast. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 